Um, that says solve. Don't worry about that. Or should we? We're going to solve for x. Find all values f of, what the heck? Of x. Of x. What the heck? Whatever. Find all values of x for which f of x equals 7. Now, remember I, we did one of those compound inequalities where it kind of added a step. That's all this is. See how f of x equals 7? So I'm going to replace f of x with 7. And then I'm going to solve for x. So if I rewrite this, I've got 7 equals the absolute value of 13x. I'll make that bigger to emphasize the absolute value. And uh, absolute value of 13x plus 17. All right, so I'm assuming everyone's finished. We're surfing the net. All right, so once again, we're just going to split this up. And we got the positive value of 7 equals the 13x plus 17. But also, I've got that negative 7 <coughs> equals the 13x plus 17. All right, here we go. So solving for x on the left side, I would subtract 17 from both sides of the equal sign. I got negative 10 equals 3x. Dividing both sides by 3. That, yeah. I... <laughs> Mistaken that for an absolute value. Thank you. 13, that's better. So that becomes a 1x, which is what we wanted. And we got a negative 10 thirteenths. That's not a 6. All right, well, what about this other one? In purple, same idea. Subtract 17 from both sides. Try to write smaller now. 13x equals negative 24. Divide both sides by 13. And x equals negative 24 thirteenths. And of course, do not stop here on a test. Make sure you check. <laughs>